A common scenario that some of you are in is you can't change your head unit, but you want to improve the sound quality by changing out the factory speakers and amplifiers. What good is all that new equipment with the factory EQ curve compensating for poor amplifier performance, especially when powering the lowest cost speakers built only to trick you into thinking you have a finer than mediocre sound system. Pioneer's DEQ S1000A digital sound processor may be just what you need. We get a six channel high performance dual core 48 bit DSP. A unique feature that Pioneer has put in is a four channel amplifier pumping out 25 watts max and 14 watts RMS per channel. The 48-bit DSP is incredibly useful in situations with vehicles that have factory navigation, rear seat entertainment, and integrated climate controls, making upgrading to an aftermarket stereo impossible or really expensive. A DSP allows us to independently control different aspects of our speakers in our system. The DSP becomes the central processor in our audio system by connecting it between the amplifier and head unit. The audio signal goes through the DSP and is sent to the amplifiers, allowing us to modify the signal before it reaches the amplifier. Pioneer has given us two options when it comes to crossovers, standard mode and network mode. Standard is used when setting up a system with a front, rear, and sub output based system. Network mode is used when setting up a system that you intend on biamping. That is a separate amplifier for the tweeters and the mid-range with adjustable crossover points and a subwoofer RCA output. This being a six channel processor in network mode, we only have control of the front tweeter, mid-range and subwoofer. We lose the ability to control the rear channels. This advanced design allows us to build and control most types of systems that we want. The DEQ1000A has speaker level inputs for installing with a factory stereo, as well as RCA inputs for using with an aftermarket receiver. The processor also features three pairs of four volt preamp outputs for connection to aftermarket amplifiers. Pioneer has built an easy and convenient way to rid the factory radio of its EQ curve. Pioneer has also provided a downloadable audio track that is played back on the factory radio. This provides the DEQ with a calibration sequence that evens the factory tune and compensates for the factory radio. Pioneer has really thought of virtually everything. The processor has a USB input for direct playback and control from your smartphone for both iOS and Android using the Pioneer SoundTune app. One of the more awkward situations is what happens when I'm playing directly from my phone and I'm using the factory nav for guidance or a phone call comes in on the factory stereo. Well, Pioneer has thought of this and built the DEQ S1000A with a mixed audio playback capability, allowing us to hear the prompts and take a call while playing audio directly from your phone. This does require the use of the remote control or app for selecting mixed audio playback. There are three playback modes through, smartphone mode, and mixed audio. The DEQ unlocks its full potential when a smartphone is connected via USB. When the phone is connected, the app self-launches as long as the phone is unlocked. The app allows full control for setup and detailed audio tuning using a 31-band EQ instead of the native 13-band with two presets. The EQ curve is a global curve and is not capable of adjusting on a channel-by-channel -channel basis. Other audio functions include channel-by-channel -channel or driver-by-driver -driver time alignment, depending upon mode, individual speaker gain, high and low pass filters, crossover slope, phone source volume control, mute, master volume control, balance and fader, subwoofer phase, and sound effects and direct audio playback. Pioneer has built an excellent app to control this processor along with the wireless remote control. They have copy and paste for EQ curves, zoom in and out on the horizontal axis when dealing with the 31 band EQ curve or fine tune for the vertical axis. 
The wireless remote allows for master volume control with an audible beep for confirmation, play, pause, mute, source select, USB mode, track back, and track forward. The DEQ S1000A comes with a five foot power signal harness, five foot parking brake lead, five foot USB extension, wireless remote control, infrared remote sensor, and mounting hardware. Pioneer designed this DSP to be a plug and play cable system. We assume in the future we will see T harnesses due to the female end of the harness, which means for now, there is some wire cutting. In our installation video, we'll show you how to build your own T harness using two vehicle specific Metra harnesses so that you can plug the DSP directly into the factory stereo and wiring without cutting the factory harness. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.